Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you to the Thunderstorms edition of Bayonetta Origins. That's right, the internet is dead for the foreseeable future, and the power may go out at any moment, but you know what? That is what makes recording so exhilarating. Gotta keep you on the edge of your seats in these uh, quieter moments here at our new sanctuary. But last time on the game, we explored a lot of the forest with our newfound wood capabilities and collected a ton of upgrades. So let's go and explore those right now. We have uh, two moon pearls and one fruit that we can go ahead and use. And I'm thinking the multi-bind is probably up there. Infernal bond is really good too, actually. Uh, we're going to be using a lot of that. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, level up. Oh, and I guess this requires a tutorial of sort. So the spell cooldown gauge has increased and we can cast two thorn binds in a row. This is really nice for us because we have a second bar now and uh, we don't have to use them immediately after another. It's just now you can. So there you go. And the second cast is faster. All right, so we'll do the same thing here, but it really is a lot more useful when they're on top of each other because the spell casting is essentially non-existent. More of those butterflies, and we're set. Ooh, all right, beautiful, indeed. Very thankful that we finally have that, and I feel like I should probably save my points for when we can use our next Moon Pearl since nothing else requires one, but we'll probably end up getting a lot more than we need, so. Does this work? I feel like there's something wrong with that picture. I mean, Cheshire was napping in the water and the spotlight wasn't even on Cereza. So pickup wave is something we're not gonna worry too much about because you rarely, unless you're really bad at the game, you rarely have to pick up Cheshire from being knocked out. Um, as for him though, I would very much like combo mastery. This can be extremely good in finishing off hordes of enemies. So let's go and take it. Cheshire, here you go. Man, Chester just straight up squished that frog down there. Okay, well, with our next Infernal Fruit, I am going to be very interested in getting our Wood Mastery updated. Uh, each of the elemental abilities will have their own specific final combo, and some of them are better than others, but I do like this one. It is just a magic guzzler, so be wary of that as we uh, go ahead and devote our resources towards tickling enemies for items using the Plush Punch. All right, I won't see that frog get squished again, no sir. But for now, I think we are set. We'll save some of our collectibles for later, and let's get to the game, starting with uh, making negative progress, stepping backwards. There is this little area down here that, mark my words, we will be returning to in due time, Superman. Uh, but at the moment, we can't do a whole lot down here. I can actually run through some of this, but... Oh, right. We have the three wise frogs here, and a very ominous looking chest. Guess what? Yep, that's about what I expected. Oh my god. Okay, this is going to be annoying. Okay, so we have pixies now, and unless we're very careful, we're just gonna go ahead and do some of this. Oof. There we go. Get back, get back. Yeah, once these guys come down, you basically have to bind them. Otherwise, they're just gonna get up super fast. So obviously you can use Wood Cheshire to like slam them down. It just does like no damage, so it's almost just better do this. Okay, there were some invincibility frames going on here. And he, he still didn't die. Good God. Okay, do that. Do something like this. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. All right, off you go. Man, these guys are. Uh, rough. We can do this too. Ooh, man, it would have been cool to throw that shield at that pixie, though. Okay, mini boss down. Time for the minion. You're done. Oh, 
Oh man, I love how after every one of those confrontations, we just spawn back in the real world, just completely splayed out on the ground. These frogs are like, what in the hell just happened here? Now let's see if that was even remotely worth it. Something tells me, uh, yes and no. We're actually filled up on our Umbra and Syrup, which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping that we'd, you know, <laughs> not have to pass up so many of these already, but that's fine. We'll just go and fling ourselves over here. And this is going to kind of take us around the other side of the sanctuary. So, uh, yeah, not really much point to this little section here. It does give us a bit of a sneak preview of a, a shortcut that we get to take back at the top of the screen there. You can kind of see that we're going to have to <laughs> summon that forth. But if you want to go back and save, feel free to. I'm going to head over here. I see we have some friends just waiting to hang out here. So I'm just going to go and uh, maybe do something like this. Oh, what the? Okay. I, got, I didn't even have to cast a spell. That's fantastic. Well, it appears as though our path is being blocked by, uh, I guess, a bunch of stones. I'm not entirely sure how that came about to be. But... A little sort of mechanic that we really only have to worry about in this chapter lies in the form of these bomb flowers. And essentially what you do is you fling them with Cheshire and uh, life gets kind of annoying in that respect. So we go ahead and spawn that and there you go. We're gonna head down here first and be wary of where you're throwing because you usually get it caught on walls and whatnot. But over here we have yet another moon pearl. Let's go ahead and set it free, specifically from the correct direction. That might help. Man, something about those little flourishes. It just reminds me so much of Shadow of the Colossus for some reason. I don't know. I love the soundtrack to that game. And if you watch that project on the channel, uh, you are more than aware of that fact. <laughs> All right. So we bring out Cheshire once more and we toss so we can progress. <sighs> Time for a bit of nightmare fuel. Wisp? Ceresa remembered something Morgana had told her long ago. Children who perish in Avalon become wisps, their souls cursed to wander the forest forever. Hi there, little guy. Uh, are you okay? Who are you? Are you lost? You, you can talk? I'm Cereza. What's your name? I'm Colum. Colum, you look troubled. Is something the matter? My friends, the fairies took them away. Colm's lower lip quivered as he spoke. He explained how the fairies would round up wisps and tease them for sport. I want to go help them, but I don't stand a chance against those fairies. You just leave those mean old fairies to me. What? For true? The Wisp wasn't the only one surprised by Cereza's bold claim. Oh, we can't just abandon them. Girl and demon squared off. Neither budged an inch. Cheshire made it clear he wanted no part in this daring rescue. But Ceresa was determined. Well, I'm going, even if I have to fight those fairies myself. Ah, <sighs> the bliss of hubris. What is this place? Some kind of fairy playground? Could humans have been here? I wish I could have played with Mummy at a place like this. 
Well, once again, we find ourselves separated, this time by choice, from Cheshire. And we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring as Syriza on her own. But let's not just ignore the elephant in the room. We have got some pretty dark and disturbing material here. Uh, the spirits of dead children roaming around this playground. And uh, we got to rescue them. Believe it or not, this is our next new type of collectible, is finding these wisps out in the wild. And look at this, in the middle of the sandbox, there is a freaking gravestone. I don't think you really want to know whose that is, Cereza, I honestly don't. Damn. Oh, and there's a, a baby tooth hidden in the bush. Let's go and touch it. These are a lot more annoying to grab if you don't have Cheshire, so there we go. Oh, oh, one more, one more. There you go. Lovely and cavity free. So it's interesting, you can climb up on this like jungle gym thing. I haven't been on one in a solid 10 years, but fun stuff. We can head on through over here, and this is actually going to take us into our next main big area. And it goes by the name Fairyland Tower. God, that's so creepy. I'm getting like Drifloon V-Bays from Pokemon, just <laughs> children being whisked off. But, of course, as you would have guessed, another one of these sections. Great. So, relatively straightforward where we have to go because you're just going to be blocked at every what way. So, yeah, dispelling these illusions isn't going to do much for us, so we're going to follow the path. It's kind of arbitrary, actually. I don't even know. Ooh, you're going to try to zap me all the while, aren't you? All right. I guess I guess I'll go this way. This might be where I have to go. <laughs> this is uh, kind of tricky. I don't even remember how I did this the first time. Okay, okay. God, he is going crazy. All right, run over here, up the ladder. <laughs> oh, there's the crack. I see it. I see it. Man, that's rough. I really miss Cheshire right now. <laughs> All right, let's head in. Welp, we've done the unthinkable and stepped into the jest on our own. Something tells me this is probably going to backfire. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. You need my magic energy after all. Since you're here, how about lending me a paw? Cereza was secretly happy to see Cheshire, but he was silently brooding. Mm, something happens to you, and it's my neck too. The demon was just looking out for himself after all. <laughs> well, with or without you, I'm still going to help those wisps. You just sit back and watch. Oh, how's a weakling like you gonna save anyone? The demon chuckled, his mouth twisted in a cruel grin. Pretending not to hear, Ceresa pressed ahead. Oh, that's kind of adorable. But of course, we wouldn't have been able to make it through without Cheshire. So let's go ahead and uh, do another dance where I thought we were going to learn the new type that we were going to be doing, but might be on the next one. Fancy door open. Ah. <sighs> That's right, enemies are gonna start having fairy barriers. Most attacks will not work on them, but fortunately, each type of barrier has its own weakness, such as a strong blast against a bomb flower. So we'll go ahead and probably just have you go off over there 
and hopefully we don't get aggroed because uh, that'd be lovely. You still have to do the timing and uh, if you get interrupted you have to start the entire sequence again so that aspect of it is a little annoying but we'll try to get them a tad bit closer before we start going to town on them. You can actually uh, still get these guys in the thorn bind just like that. Nice. Alright. Blow them up. No such thing as friendly fire. Not here. Oh my god. That was actually pretty great. And now time for phase two. We are going to once again have to switch to that. We don't have a lot of magic at the moment, but if we can kind of get their numbers down, I think we'll be okay. Just have to be careful because he's going to be casting spells at us. Okay, and luckily I don't think anything spawns. Something hit me, but I don't know what it was. I wouldn't worry about the second thing. Ooh, good throw, Cheshire. Jesus. But the oh, it's that electricity. It just, they get you so fast. If I get hit one more time, I'm probably going to have to be very careful with how things happen here. But as long as Cereza isn't getting hurt, you're fine. There you go. Tip for tat, son. And there we have it. <laughs> yeah, a little rough, but it certainly could have been worse, in all honesty. So, let's get the heck out of here and save our first slash second wisp. This is pretty demented, helping these things. Look at that. It was like, skewered through the neck? I do love that hat though. So wisps can be found throughout Avalon trapped by fairies. Uh, this is our new type of collectible that we have to worry about and it's imperative that we do so because you cannot get all of the remembrances if you don't rescue all the wisps. So, and they also will give you quite a few prizes too for finding hurt. them. So that's good. Go ahead and open this up and this will give us our hard earned piece of flour. <laughs> See, I still feel like that doesn't really roll off the tongue as nicely as piece of petal, but you know what? That's fine. We're going to go ahead and destroy this Tyrannog once again, once and for all. So, I'll meet you guys right outside the tower. Not too bad. I think we can actually grab all of that stuff here, so hooray for us. So after all that fuss, you're going to help after all. Cereza teased the demon, who responded with a cold glare. I strike any pests who come near. Unlike you, I have the strength to protect myself, chided the demon. Is that so? <laughs> Okay, so we have a couple of things that we can do here. There is a ton of rocks that we gotta go and get rid of. So we start off by doing it here with this bomb flower that we're going to spawn. I think there's another one somewhere else, but you really can just do it with this one. So let's go and grab that. And this is definitely gonna be worth it. I highly recommend just doing it now. We'll take that bomb, please. There you go, boy. Open that up. I do unironically love that everything just kind of freezes the second you open a chest. But there is a rhyme and reason for all of this. I don't think you even need to spawn this one either. We'll do it. It's right there. And there's going to be a secret passage that is going to lead up to an infernal fruit. We we'll definitely want to take that. So you go up there and I will do this. Climb up a little bit more. There we go. 
So Cheshire is going to go along the upper side of the cliff here, and he's going to be striking out at some of these bomb flowers so that, you know, he can progress forward. So we'll do that. You want to be careful because jumping down is the same button as, uh, you know, grabbing things <laughs> with your tongue. So uh, especially over here, you can actually still jump off on accident. So we'll do this and set forth this infernal uh, fruit where Cereza is just kind enough to teleport up here to watch him eat it. Oh! What are you doing? <sighs> I like that those ones are a little more whimsical in nature, um, but it's kind of weird because I don't think there's any way for Cereza to get up here naturally. It's only for that cutscene, so it's kind of odd because the same thing happened when we got our very first Moon Pearl. Cheshire was able to just kind of come on up, so hopefully there's nothing else there of interest for us. But uh, now that Cheshire is back, we can do a little bit of exploration and uh, sort of go off the beaten path a little bit. There's not going to be a lot of coming back here once we finish this area immediately, and I don't know that we need this particularly. I'll just summon it just to be on the safe side, and I don't even know if these are really called bomb flowers. Just kind of made that up, but uh, I don't know if there's anything that is really immediately useful for. Interesting. So uh, yeah, let's go and follow these onyx roses first, because the thing about the wisps is that some of them are required to activate these gates, and if you don't have the correct one saved, you won't be able to, you know, activate it. So thank you, Captain. Oh, that was technically considered a wisp. No. That was a lovely animation if I ever saw it myself. Um, yeah, but we can do just some slight backtracking here real quick. Because, yeah, you can climb up that. And, yes. Okay, so there is a slide there. I am pretty sure we can do this now. Because I saw it in the cutscene. If we go up this way. We saw it when we stepped into the area that there was a moon pearl here. That we couldn't do anything about until we had Cheshire. And we were alone. And, yeah, nice. This actually works out really cool. This is one of the last ones I ever ended up getting because I just never went up there. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. This is great. All right, I'll take it. So good. I don't. Ah, it's just so calming and soothing, man. Okay. Well, uh, we can go and pop this open. I just love how they're bursting with the drops. There we go. Probably don't need to grab too many more of those, but. <laughs> and down the slide. One way, of course. As you could have probably guessed. I'm not going to insult your intelligence and assume you didn't know that's what slides did, but. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. I, I don't read comments too often, but especially in others. Um, but some people are uh, pieces of work, you know. Uh, ooh. Okay, we have a fire chest. Look at look at how much that gauge. Just oh man, we're gonna need so many before it increases even more. So we have a flaming chest, and we have another one of these swirly things, and we also have a place to take a quick little dip if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it because you will drown. And that's not very fun. Oh, hold on. Can I do this? Cheshire. Is this something I can do now? It might be. Oh my goodness. I didn't know I could do this now. Oh, I don't think I can is the thing. Because Cheshire has to get on the other side. Yeah. All right. This is a puzzle for later, obviously. When we can deal with some water. But I'll just... I'll worry about that a little later. Let's start heading back. Because I think we just need to progress at this point. There is, like, a surprising amount that we can do here this early on. Is that... I can't go over that. That's bizarre. Weird. I know they're all, like, tangled up and gross and rusted, but still. All right, let's just, let's just get going. Is this the sanctuary already? Okay, I'll, I'll take it, I suppose. Um, let's take a look at some of our abilities, shall we? 
So Cheshire hasn't really learned anything new aside from the wood mastery, and we are going to be able to afford it. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? I'm not afraid. Cheshire, here you go. We are going to be so freaking powerful. Uh, we don't have enough onyx roses for that. Yeah, this is gonna sound a little anticlimactic, but I think I should probably save up on some abilities here because I have three moon pearls and usually using those is extremely advantageous in battle. I just, I feel like I could probably get away with absorption, but we'll wait, we'll hold off because these do get a little pricey, so. Yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of amazed at myself for holding out for so long and still just not having much money. All right, now I'd hate to end things off here, so we'll keep going just a little bit, even if it might take a while before we get to our next proper save spot. We have one of those. Uh, that is actually kind of interesting over there, and there's a chest over to our left here that we can't quite access just yet. So I'm gonna keep on going. I'm not gonna worry about that in the slightest. Instead, oh, oh, that train, that train is going to be the bane of your existence, my friend. How dare you? All right, well, we have traps everywhere, and there also appears to be some wanted posters using quite the unflattering photos of Cheshire and Cereza. Um, but something I wanted to point out is the clear influence of Pikmin coming through in the soundtrack, specifically the song. I feel like it was ripped straight out of the distant spring or awakening wood, but that might just be me. Now over here, we have this very unique mechanic that we literally use just this once, and that is using Wood Cheshire to fling Cereza over to this section of the world for a stealth section. I've got to be careful. If they spot me, I'll be in trouble. That's right, it's time for Solid Cereza. Uh, if you get caught, it really is a very very small consequence because it'll just fade to black and send you back like two feet. I'm not even joking. So just follow the wolf who also One of those wisps <laughs> is being bullied, but I can't help them by myself. Yeah, we'll get to it. For now, oof. Yeah, that train is gonna be taunting you every what way. So let's go and pull this down. And reconvene with Cheshire. <laughs> There's a wisp in trouble! Let's go help them! You know, it's actually kind of funny that you didn't really even need Cheshire to cross the bridge. You can just summon him back to you in hug mode from there. But no matter, it is time to teach these bullies a lesson. These jerks who are just hounding this poor defenseless child. I mean, even in death he's getting bullied. How sad is that, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, he's just looking on in horror, still skewered through his neck. God. You're welcome. No, his name is Metalhead. That's adorable. So, uh, interestingly enough, each of these wisps do have their own specific and unique names, and uh, it's kind of adorable some of the, I guess, the flavor text they gave them, and I might show some of that a bit later, but it's not entirely necessary. It's about what you would expect. All right, later days, nerds. Man, ripping them up, ripping them up. You guys don't get any time to bully. I hate bullies, man. Okay. Oh! And that's everyone. We are set. 
Alrighty, well, let's start by moving this over here. As you can see, there are two train tracks right next to each other, and we can do some stuff here that is kind of interesting. So, go and open this. And thank you. Think, nope, nope, why did you do that? No, you go over here. Because Cereza can't get on top of these unless she's at a proper height. So we'll do something like that. And then we'll switch on over to this one. And Cheshire can go and play the train conductor over here. It's a good thing this is all blocked off from that train we've been seeing. That Thomas the Tank Engine demented version just off in the distance. Uh, but we can head over here and line ourselves up with this. There's another slide here. That we don't need to worry about until much later. Cool. Ooh, not bad. A hundred? I'll, I'll take it, I guess. But that's everything we can do here. There is a ladder that we can only extend if we come up from over there, so don't worry about it. We're done with these tracks. Uh, you can also, I guess, take this one. It's a big boy, so there you go. Also take more of that. I'm never going to read it. And we're essentially done here. This area, like I said, pretty straightforward. Don't need to worry too much about it. Um, was there anything else though? I think there probably was. Do I follow you? No, we'll go back this way. We don't need to follow no stinking paw prints. I'm good. Not following no paw patrol. Yeah, there's a little area over here I feel like we can dip into at some point. It's like a really secluded little area that you usually don't have to worry about, but in this case, you'll probably end up missing it. Also, look at it. Jesus. That thing is going to be your actual nightmare fuel here soon. But if we head up here, uh, Metalhead came up to this gate, and you can only open it if you have the proper amount of wisps. In this case, we're fine. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go and take this. Nice little close-up of the track there. <laughs> yeah, that thing is just gonna be kind of taunting you this entire time. Saving the wisps brought a small joy to Sarita's heart. Those fairies are just awful. Don't fear wisps. I'll save you. We have entered the Tirnanog of Illusion. This one, if I recall correctly, is the one where we learn a brand new Witch Pulse concept known as Sustained Notes. Essentially, you just hold it in the direction that it is going to be sustained in and let go when it reaches the end in order to unlock it. It's pretty generous and you usually don't have to put much thought into it because it is just really easy to pull off and you can even be off on time. So, let's go and put our new dance to the test. <laughs> All right, it looks like we now have mages to contend with which is fun as hell doesn't that sound just like fantastic just getting caught in all of their electricity bolts here we'll, we'll distract one right over here and just leave him to his own devices there you go this is getting beat the hell up all right there you are sir <laughs> so not a whole lot of health but otherwise can still be a little bit tricky here let's do this let me switch to that Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, uh, well done you two. Probably a, a little too well done. Um, you basically scorched the earth with their remains there. <laughs> um, Let's get out of here. We will never speak another word of this again. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and 
with that, we have our fifth flower container. Not that any of the other ones we've had up to this point were really doing us any favors, but you know what? I'll take it. And as unusual as it sounds, I think we are going to end things off here now because I am not getting through this nearly as quickly as I wanted to. And I have a feeling this next portion is going to eat up a lot of our time. So thank you all so much for watching and join me here next time as we continue our exploration of the Fairyland Tower and try to make a bit more progress in the next one. Take it easy and I'll see you guys 